Hi Gemini, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading, 14th to the 20th of February. Um, so my lovelies, I've just got these lovely little bits out on the table um, because there's some of the merchandise I'm going to be putting on the website. Um, so yeah, I just thought I've been making these since Christmas and I finally got them finished, finally got the stuff that I needed. So we're going to start off, we're calling this Angels and Ancestors Spiritual Stuff. That's what we're calling it. Um, so in this lovely little jar, you have got, you've got 42 little messages, affirmations, um, kind of like pet talks, if you like. Um, you know, you can do this, you've got this, all of that nice sort of stuff. And then you've got 18 of these and that makes it a two month jar that you can fill out yourself for your manifestations. And then in this cute little bag, you've got five tiny weeny little wooden angels. And these are, let's go that side. These are your wish and worry angels. I'm going to, because they're being buggers, they won't turn around. Your wish and worry angels. Let's get one out. There you go little wooden angel and you take one out for each wish or each worry and you tell your angel it's wish or it's worry or your worry um and then uh pop it under your pillow um and the angel will help you sort things out by the morning and at the bottom of that bag are some tiny little tumble stone crystals that will help keep your angels well charred charred charged up but if you pop them all back into the jar it will keep your affirmations as well um charged up so handmade with love and the angels and ancestors logo on that side um when you get them uh, they will be sealed they will have um a little security seal and i've got some um stickers that are coming for the top of the jars um and this bit is just a little bit extra that I decided to do. So on the site as well, you will be get, be able to purchase one of the, one of these, all of these if you want. Um, these are tiny little crystals in a tiny, tiny little pot. And the idea of these is I'm going to put a little bit of string around the top for you so you are able to either hang it from something, put it by your bed, put it in your pocket, put it in your purse. But the other thing that I kind of like came up with the idea is that if you pop that into a glass of water, you can charge it up. Now, I wouldn't say go right over the top of the cork. I would say just about to the top of where the crystals stop. If you just either sit that or dangle it in some water, it will charge up some spiritual water for you, some crystal water that you can use in all sorts of of different things magic um garden magic your own magic um cleansing and clearing stuff all of that nice stuff and separately from the jar as well i'm also going to do 10 of the um angels the wish and worry angels and 10 crystals so they get they get a crystal each that goes with them um to help them stay charged up um, so that's a couple of the three things that I've got going on. Um, the tarot decks or the oracle decks are still at the publisher, so I can't show you those. But the other announcement I've got to make is that I've sat all day working out a way of getting um, tarot readings to you um, that is safe so that you know that it's only me that's doing it. So I'm going to not be offering tarot readings through YouTube anymore. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm, prob, I, I'm still toying with the idea if I'm going to add the readings to the website. But what I've done is I've started an Etsy store. Um, and I am going to be offering different price readings um, from Etsy. 
So there will be everything from a three card reading right up to an emergency up to 24 hours reading that I can get out to you quickly. So as soon as that comes about, as soon as that gets published, I will put it in the community page. So please keep an eye out for that. So let's get an energy card for Gemini, please. Thank you very much. So Gemini, what have we got? Oh, perfect storm. Look at this. How, do you know, this bird amazes me. I just love it. And I'll explain why. The courage to step into life. You've got like a little bit of a whirlwind going on there. A bit of a storm coming out of the chest. For me, that's more like a portal where you can transform yourself into what it is you want to be. This is a 44. In numerology, it is a soul number, a prime number. And the higher you get, the closer to the divine you are. And it's almost like this crow has or raven whatever whatever you think it is um can transform itself into a beautiful peacock not that ravens and crows aren't beautiful because i think they are um but it's almost like it's an awakening it's sort of it's this mixture of it's okay to be highly spiritual and still want the human experience, still want uh, the loving, caring, sensual relationships, the uh, material side of the world. There is equal Stevens in both of those. It's not an either or decision. It is both. You can have both in equal parts. So if you're finding yourself in the position where you're highly spiritual, you're highly attuned, a light worker if you like, um, and you're finding yourself in this perfect storm where you're kind of like, oh my God, I don't know, I, I want all of this stuff and getting to the point where I can get all of this stuff, but does it actually link in to my spirituality? Of course it fucking does. We all do bloody work. We all work hard. We all have come here for the human experience. And we can't have the human experience if we're not willing to put ourselves in the position of wanting the materialistic, of wanting the sensuality, of wanting all the emotions and the love and the problems and everything else that comes with that human experience. So just know that you are able to step out of that vortex out of that portal and straight in decide exactly what you want to be. You can be a raven, you can be a crow, you can be a peacock. You can be what you like, love. And if you've got that peacock plume, let me tell you, you've got every right to stance and stand your ground um, and give it a good show. You really have. So let's get on with the rest of your reading. What started the what the fuck for? Gemini. Facing your fears and taking your power back. How is Gemini going to face their fears and take their power back? You're not going to face your fears and take your power back. What's going on with those? For Gemini, please, can I have facing the fears and taking their power back? Thank you. And then half of them want you to come out. So, my lovelies, your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, and why it may be fucked. For Gemini, please. Okay. 
your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. What can Gemini do about this for this week, please? Thank you. What's out of their hands? That came out pretty quick. Oh, I'm not taking that many. Reconnecting to your true selves for Gemini. Where is that card? Oh, it was several that flipped over. Wow. I'm not taking that many. Sorry, Gemini. That was a whole bunch of them. How's Gemini going to reconnect to their true selves, please? One or two cards would be good if you could manage it. I've just heard take those. It's like, all right, I'll take those then. Okay, my darlings, your outcome. Nice. So, my lovelies, what started your what the fuck? You was really bloody confident. I've got this sussed. I'm coming back triumphant. Look, I've got my hand in the air. The other hand's on the staff. Um, you've got no hands on the reins, though. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Universe is saying, just sit back and enjoy the journey. You've got no bloody control over this. Honestly, you haven't. You've got a magpie now. Magpies, for me, are very magical creatures. We've got that poem, and we won for... Sorrow, two for joy, three for girl. If you don't sit down and enjoy the journey, it's definitely going to be bloody sorrowful because you're going to have a sore ass. Um, these horses are going to take you where they need to be. Now, they're slightly facing in different directions. That doesn't mean that either direction is wrong. It just means that um, it's an either-or situation. You can go one way or the other and both are going to be perfectly fine. Um, but when you come back in the battle wagon... And you're kind of a little bit cocky, you might find that you're going to take a little bit of a fall if you don't sit back and enjoy the journey. If you don't give the faith into the universe that it's going to take you where you need to be. Uh, don't try and kick back and fight against it because they are saying that is not the thing to do right now. So facing your fears and taking your power back. There's definitely a shift for you with the Ace of Pentacles. This could be a move of a job. A career could be going um, kind of like sidestepping into a different career. Um, home life. Your home life, you could be moving. And it could be a combine, com, combine, combination of all of those things with the Ace of Pentacles. Right in behind that, you've got the King of of wands now he's highly passionate highly desirable quite handsome chappy but he is fucking arrogant and he just knows what he wants and he goes and gets it now what he's offering to you in this reading is if you want to go and get something i will show you how i will make wave that wand for you now this is going to be somebody who fire sign aries leo or sage or someone with that kind of energy where they're really good at projects and plans and very good with people. However, they are fucking arrogant, I will tell you. They think that everything is their birthright. And there may be the need for you to go back to basics, to learn how to protect yourself uh, while dealing with this character. Um, it, this could be your inner self and they could be saying, come on, you need to ground yourself, you need to protect yourself. Um, because this is highly charged right now. Um, but it's all a matter of perspective, my darlings, when you are facing your fears and taking your power back with the Oak King. They're saying, look at it from different perspectives. Stop going around in bloody circles. The infinity sign at the bottom there. Um, just perpetually going round and round and round and not really getting anywhere. Because one, that will piss him off. Um, and he won't really kind of put up with the behaviour that I'm stuck up a fucking tree. Um, they want to see fast movement. They want to see um, results. They want to see that you are moving yourself along nicely as the witch. And able to do stuff because you've taken yourself back to basics. Um, but definitely some sort of shift or move is on the cards for you my lovelies so facing your fears and taking your power back i guess that facing your fears was 
a change in career or a change in residence or maybe both um linking in with somebody new um that could prove to be a really good ally um but still the need to protect yourself and get yourself out that fucking tree so you can see things from a different perspective lovelies you have got your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why it may be fun. it's definitely not fun you've got the queen of pentacles now when i laid this card down i heard ground yourself if you want what you want and you're manifesting ground yourself and do you know what i saw this is so funny because oh, I was looking at that card as well, and it was almost like somebody had landed a head, like with you're being told to ground yourself, and you're like the helicopter because you're up in your head and you're up in the air, and somebody's whipped the blades off, and you've just gone bang and hit the freaking deck. I, and I was like, why have they shown me that? When they say ground yourself, they don't mean that you've got to jump from somewhere to ground yourself. You can do it in bite-sized things. It's all about whether or not you can go barefoot indoors and take... You know, I lived in an 11th floor flat um, and it was all concrete and everything. And my friend said to me, lift that bloody carpet up and sit on the floor. That's grounding yourself because it's attached to the ground. Even though it's 11 floors up, it was still connected to the ground. Um, that was a big lesson for me. So in comes this Queen of Pentacles looking out over her kingdom. No, she's invested wisely, particularly in the subjects that she has loved and nurtured and given the sense of um, security by making sure that that tree and its roots run really deeply and splay out over every season. And it could be that something may be coming in to change for you. It could mean that you are going in to change something for somebody else. Um, if you want to know what the signs are around that, it's going to be Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo or somebody with really grounded tendencies. They, their feet are firmly on the ground. They're usually a CEO or a business person. Um, the queens are a little bit more gentler than the queen the kings but they can be male or female in any stance so just know that if this person is presenting to you they are the softer gen the softer side of the card or the gentler side of the card so darlings your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you need to Jump in that bloody water. No, no, don't do that. Step into the water nicely with the fairy and start doing some healing. Now, I've got, I know everybody's going to be shouting at the screen, I'm doing healing, man. Yeah, okay. It's eternal, darling. The hurts that we get in the human experience by being here are never going to heal themselves unless you take the time out to actually put that healing in place and one of the healings that you can do is learn to love yourself and create your own happiness and be grateful for that uh, because if you have learned to love you without somebody else being involved and you have got your own happy without somebody being involved and you are really grateful for the ability of both of those guess what happens on your movement your journey it doesn't matter who you come into connection with it doesn't matter who steps into your life or who steps out of your life they will never take your happy and they will never take your love away because it is there for you and that's what she's telling you because as you heal that beautiful little star will start as a twinkle and then it will just get bigger and bigger and bigger and as it does each and every manifestation and wish and dream that you've ever had will start to come to fruition now right in behind that you've got the king of chalices now normally i don't like the king of chalices but i'm kind of getting that he's telling you it's okay to touch base with your emotions he is he's sitting there and he's raising the glass and he's eating and he's jolly um and he's trying to say to you don't be like me tell it as it is if there is something that's bubbling up emotionally for you 
just tell it as it is. You will need some strength to do that. And in comes this little page of a Thames that tells you to draw energy down from the universe in order to use your knowledge and your wisdom in making a decision. Accepting that the moon has uncovered something illuminated for you, a truth or an untruth or possibly even a pathway forward. But you need to be in this receptive mood this receptive energy to be able to receive what it is that the moon is trying to uncover for you um and by that by very nature of being receptive means that you've got to have a certain degree of vulnerability around you to allow this to come in so what can you do about this situation Business as usual, my darlings, with the King of Pentacles. Just carry on as if nothing's changed. Just let the change happen around you. Just let the change come in really naturally. I just heard business as usual. You're going to go out and earn your money. You're going to draw energy down from the goddess or whoever your divine is. You are going to sit there looking over your kingdom. Now, each and every one of us have got a kingdom um, and it varies from person to person. Um, but your kingdom is going to be where you live, your family. And by family, I don't necessarily mean blood family. It can be a chosen family. Um, but there is this ability for you to just carry on as normal and reap the rewards as you go. Um, I'm still getting the indication, though, that with... The king and the queen and the ace in the same reading. There is a shift or a change for you in your career. There is a shift or a change for you in your finances. And what this is saying is that there could be a promotion here. Now, whether this is a promotion in the work you do or whether you give yourself a promotion by going out on your own. Only you can tell that part of the story. But whatever this is, they're just saying, let it come in around you really naturally. So what's out of your hands for this week? Darling, you've got the two of chalices. There is a celebration coming in towards you. And you're not going to get out of it. You're not going to get... You're, you're going to want to go and curl up under the bloody juve. You're going to want to sing a, a film on or... Do sort of like what they do about, what, what do they call it? When you watch a lot of the same programme all at once, my son tells me what it is, but I never, because I don't do it, I don't. Okay, two of chalices. This is a celebration. This is a celebration of partnership. Now, it could be family, could be friends, could be partners in business could be lovers could be a combination of all of that but you're not going to have a choice in that that celebration is going to happen and you are going i'm getting the you're going to feel like you're going to have to go and it doesn't matter whether you go for two minutes two hours two days whatever um the celebration is going to happen with or without you and i think they're trying to say to you um you know don't make it into a choice. Just go. Just go. So reconnecting to your true self. This is really nice, actually. You've got the world tree here. You've got it behind the queen of pentacles in your uh, manifestation, your wish fulfillment. This is the world tree. Its roots run really deep. It is rock solid. It is unwaverable. You are really strong in what you do. You understand that night and day, day has to close in tonight and night gives away to day. It splays out over all seasons and just because a season is coming to a close, it doesn't mean that there's not going to be something new just ahead. The snake is there to tell us that it is now time to shed old skin. It is time for us to understand that to move on and have what we want out of life, we need to let go of the old us, the old way of being. In comes the collaboration card. There is surprising information coming from surprising sources. Um, this is the tutor becoming the pupil, the pupil becoming the tutor. You could either end up teaching or being taught something 
um, that is going to be quite valuable for you monetary wise and then in comes the holly king now the holly king is about knowledge and wisdom he goes out on on his um quests looking for knowledge and wisdom but he's also described as father time and he's in your reading telling you it is time to reconnect to your true essence your true self the understanding of the world tree and the collaboration is great uh, but he is saying it's time to understand that with the world tree and the collaboration card the high priest is calling you into the uh, into the stone circle for protection and then he is calling you in to understand that it is okay absolutely all right to deal with things traditionally to look at things in a traditional manner take on the traditions of um i had a by bygone past is that right or a bygone era um i wish they wouldn't just pop things into my head like that um he's saying out of that tradition if it doesn't sit easy with you then tweak it change it it's okay to make it your own and that's how you're going to reconnect with your true self is understanding that the traditions that you grew up with that were handed down through generation after generation is absolutely fine. But you may just have to tweak it to make it fit you and your lifestyle now. Your outcome, Don, is you've got the Lord and the Lady. Um, there is a decision around a couple to be made. Now, this partnership is an even Stevens partnership. There is no one lesser or greater than the other. Um, but still, there is a decision to be made. Now, I am not getting that this is a lover's partnership. I'm getting that this love is coming from either a family member, a really cr close friend or a very close partner in business. Um this decision that's going to be made is going to be made around this shift of your career and your moving um and it will have further effects than you can actually kind of take on board right now but what's being hidden from you and i'm kind of connecting it to the lord and the lady in comes the two of wands this is leaving your comfort zone in order to go out and quest something new it's something that you want to do something that is connected with this perfect storm something that they are saying um the courage to set step into life and the whole reading has been about that it's it's the whole reading is about the courage to step into life but this card is just summing it up you're going to leave your comfort zone in order to go off with a quest possibly with somebody else but it is your quest and it is your answer that you named so let's ask the whispering woods to add anything to the reading please what have you got for gemini thank you and you have got grounded Where's my things? Grounded. Keep to your roots and stand tall like the trees. And let's ask for some knowledge and wisdom from the angels and the ancestors. For Gemini, thank you. 14th to the 20th of February. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Darlings, if you like what I do, please hit the like button, subscribe and share as much as you like. Leave me a message. Love getting messages. Um, yeah, so do that for me. Eagle. See from a higher perspective. What were we talking about earlier? Let's put those at the back. Where was it? Was it you that was in that bloody tray? Yeah, there. Perspective. There we go. C. 
see from a higher perspective. You are not going to see a higher perspective upside down in a tree. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. Traveller, move in a new direction. Well, I think that that is very clear. That is exactly what is on the cards for you. Oracle, wait for important information. Um, I'm kind of getting for you that the important information is going to come around from this perspective. Now, you have got three kings and a queen in this reading and there's a page as well but the three kings coming in you have got the king of fire the king of wands you've got the king of water the king of cups and you've got the king of earth the king of um pentacles the one king you haven't got is a thames which is the air card so there is passion there is emotion and there is groundedness around you, um, nurturing, all of that kind of stuff. And here we have it, springs. See your seeds grow. So the important information I'm getting is going to come from a very powerful source. It could be a boss. It could be somebody who is in business themselves are coming to you with an offer that you can't refuse gemini whatever it is pop it in the messages below darling because there is something really shifting around you um and it is going to put you in a position where you are going to be so grounded and so strong that you will weather any storm you will so my lovelies wherever you are in the world please be safe and i will catch you in the next reading bye for now